Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 into a Parallels virtual machine on a Mac. As you can see it runs fairly well even though it's in a virtual machine. So you can see if I open File Explorer this works perfectly fine. I can also access the files on my Mac via a network drive. I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, you can also do anything that you normally do on Windows but in Windows 11. Um, I haven't currently activated Windows but you can do if you want to. It still thinks it's Windows 10 for some reason. So to download the ISO file, you need to go to the link on screen. So once you go to this, you'll be taken to a web page where you can download this ISO file. And once it's done, it will ask you to save the ISO file on your machine. Then what you need to do is open the Parallels or your virtual machine software. I found that VirtualBox doesn't work very well, so I would advise that you use Parallels or VMware if you can. Um, it is paid, but there is a 30 day free trial for Parallels. And once you're in the control center, you need to press the plus to create a new virtual machine. On your first install of Parallels, it may already take you to this screen. And if it does, that's brilliant. You just need to double click on the middle icon, which says install Windows or another OS from DVD or image file. So in this case, we're going to be downloading it from an image file. And then you need to go to image file and press find automatically. It should detect it in your ISOs, but if it doesn't, you can press on choose manually and then select a file. And if you type in the top right ISO and then click on ISO disk image, it should automatically filter out your ISO files and you can select one and begin to install it. And once you've selected your ISO, you need to click on open and it will detect that ISO file. It will think that it's Windows 10 because Parallels has no idea that Windows 11 exists, but it will still work. And then click on continue. You can enter a license key if you've got one, but otherwise you just need to untick the box which says enter Windows license key for faster installation and then click continue. Select the edition that you want. So in this case, I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro and then click done and then continue. And then you can name it whatever you want. And then when you press create, it will automatically boot into the VM and it will take you through the installation process. And it will be like installing any other version of Windows. It's fairly simple and Parallels does most of the work for you. If you use a different VM software, it will be a lot more steps because they're not as easy to configure virtual machines. And then as soon as you want to run Windows 11, you just click on the play button there and wait a few seconds. And if you've chosen to use a free trial, you can just click on continue and the virtual machine will begin to boot up. And once it's booted up, you'll be on Windows 11 and you can use it in whichever way you want. The link to the ISO will be in the description. I hope this has helped and thanks for watching.